the array from method creates a new shallow copied array from an array like or iterable object. Now this sounds a bit confusing, so let's look at some examples on how this works exactly. Let's say we want to convert a string of numbers to an array of numbers. So let's say we have string of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, something like that. And at the end we want to get something like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. How we can do that? Well, one option is to use the array from method. Let's store the result in a rest variable and we're going to do array dot from string and let's see what we get console.log res you can see now that we have an array of characters which are the numbers so how can we convert string numbers to actual numbers we can do that by passing map function as a second parameter for the array from method here we can pass the map function let's write map function here and create it here function map function which will take in the value so this works exactly as the map function we learned in the previous tutorial so let's say x and we want to return number of x so we're going over all the elements from this array and we want to convert them to numbers let's save and see we get now an array of numbers which is great but we can go even further we can convert this to an arrow function so we get x and we want to return number of x like this so this is the same thing save and is the same or we can just pass in the numbers constructor and we get the same thing which is great now another use case for this array from method is if you want to remove all the duplicated values from an array so let's write uh, first let's console and clear this so we have a clean terminal all right and now let's create a numbers array and let's say we have one two three three two one four four one three okay something like that good and let's have a five and we want to remove the duplicated values so for that we're going to create a new set which will remove all the duplicates and then we need to convert that set to an array again so let's store this in a result we're going to call new set and we're going to pass in the numbers let's see what we get now okay we have a new set with all the numbers but this is not an array so we can use the array.from and pass in the new set and now if we save you can see we get all the numbers and we remove the duplicates this can work for strings also something like florine ivan liam florine again ivan again and j maybe let's call this friends okay and now you can see we get an array of friends with all the duplicate friends <laughs> removed Alright, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!